We're working with two-point perspective, and we're going to be dealing with the stairs. Today we'll start by putting our horizon line up near the top of the picture plane. So draw in your horizon line, and then go ahead and establish your right vanishing point, right vanishing point, and your left vanishing point, LVP. After we have our horizon line and our vanishing points established, we're going to start out by putting in a vertical line. So go ahead and put in your vertical line, just like that, to define the height of the stairs. After you've established your vertical line, then we're going to put in a diagonal line from our left vanishing point to represent the base of the stairs. So here's our base of the stairs, just like that. Once we have that established, we're going to connect the top of the vertical line with the end of the diagonal line to represent the slope. Now this is going to be drawn in very lightly. Um, most of these lines should be drawn in fairly lightly because they are working lines. So go ahead and draw that in. I'm going to be erasing this later. I don't want it too dark, even though I'm using a fairly dark pencil. I don't want it too dark. So we establish a vertical line, a diagonal line from the left vanishing point, and then another diagonal line that's broken one of our rules of perspective by always drawing your lines to a vanishing point, all of your diagonal lines that is, by connecting the top of the vertical and the bottom of that first diagonal. Here's the first step to two-point perspective stairs. The next part of two-point perspective stairs is we're going to connect or draw toward the right vanishing point from the bottom of our triangle to represent the width to show the width of our stairs. Now this is a pretty severe angle, but that's because my vanishing points are still on my picture plane. Eventually I would do this and have them exist off of the picture plane, but for the time being, there they are. So to my right vanishing point, now from this corner, I'm going to go to my left vanishing point to establish the hidden back edge of the side of my stairs. This line to the left vanishing point would be parallel, but because we're dealing with perspective, they're going to recede to that left vanishing point. So I'll tap my T-square up there and very lightly draw that line in. So now this line and this line both recede to the left vanishing point. To draw the line that would be parallel with the front edge of the stairs, I'm going to go back to this back corner, one of the first corners I established, and now draw to my right vanishing point from there. So I'll draw that in, again very lightly because that is a working line. So now I've drawn in the base of my stairs, and I have one side of my stairs in that triangle. From this back intersection, now I'm going to draw a vertical line up to define the height on the back hidden edge of the stairs. So here I will use my triangle and I'll draw in a vertical line to represent that. Let me just do this. There we go. Vertical, vertical line, draw that in, super light. Almost done with this portion, two more lines. I'm going to draw from the top of this to my right vanishing point to define the top edge of the stair. There we go. 
But now, all I have to do is connect from here to here to give me my other side of the slope. So go ahead and draw that in. And now you've got your ramp. There we go. The last part of this portion of the drawing is we're going to take our handy dandy eraser and go ahead and get rid of all of these internal lines so that it's nice and clean and we're not confused later on when we're trying to draw in the individual stairs themselves. So go ahead and take a look at that. Check your drawing. See if you are at that same point. To continue with the stairs, now we're going to actually draw the stairs in themselves. I'm going to use my ruler as a ruler is meant to be used, not just as a straight edge, and I'm going to measure off equal distances. This is about six and a half inches, and I don't want too many stairs, so my first one is going to be a little bit skinnier. Mark that off. Now I have one inch, two inches, three, four, five, and six. Each of them are equally marked off. Mark those a little bigger so you can see them. And again, I did the top one very skinny so that I could have another, uh, so I could have equal spacings in there. And now from my left vanishing point to each of those evenly spaced marks, I'm going to draw a diagonal until I bump into the slope. So I will draw that one in, two, always checking my vanishing point, three, four, five, and six. There we go. And then from that, where each of these diagonals from my left vanishing point bump into my slope, I'm going to now draw vertical lines straight down until I bump into the next diagonal. Get my triangle so I keep everything nice and square. So starting at the very top, drop that first one in until I bump into the next diagonal. The next one, slide it over, always keeping my vertical lines vertical. There we go. Slide that over. Two more. Double check that angle. One, and last one. Oops, slide that down. There we go. So now I have the actual shape of the stairs. You can see the step down and over, down and over, all the way until I get to the very base of my stairs. Check your work. Make sure that it looks like this or similar. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to go from each and every one of these new corners to create the rise and the run of the stair. So, starting at the very top, this one often gets overlooked, from the very top, and because it's so close to the horizon line, it sometimes gets really, really skinny. I'm going to draw those diagonal lines in from each and every corner from the back of each step and the front of each step. Again, the more stairs, the more steps you have, the longer this is going to take. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. Always lining it up to your vanishing point. Every diagonal line should go to that vanishing point, unless we're purposely breaking them. Almost done. A few more. And 
And these lines are getting very steep because we're moving down on the picture plane and it's getting closer to the edge of the page. And that vanishing point keeps me slanted. So now we've got not only the zigzags of each of the stairs, we also have the rise of the stair as well as the run of each step. Take a look, see how you're doing. A little bit more to go. Now what we have to do is just like in math, what happens on this side has to happen on this side. If you notice from this point down is a vertical line. That means that from this point down to that first diagonal is going to be a vertical line. So I will use my triangle to draw that in. You can use your ruler, just make sure that it is a vertical line. I'll draw that straight down until I bump into my first diagonal. From the first, the end of my vertical to my diagonal will be from the end of that vertical to, in theory, my left vanishing point. But I can cheat a little bit and go to where this intersects. It's hard to see on this one, so we'll repeat that on the next one. Again, down from that slope to here. And now you can see it a little bit better here. In theory, again, it goes to that left vanishing point. And I'll just continue. Down and line it up. Over. Down and over. Again, it's lining up sort of with that vanishing point. Down and over, diagonal, vertical, and diagonal. What happens here, diagonal, happens here, diagonal. And then this last one is straight down. Now I could have a little welcome mat here if I wanted. I could draw that one in there like that. And there I've got my stairs. The last thing I'm going to do with my stairs is take my eraser and hopefully I've dealt with all of my working lines very lightly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to erase all of these extra little bits and pieces of drawing that are out there. So go ahead and erase all of that extra stuff that's in there. You can always go back and retrace over some of your lines if you have to. Now we want to make sure this is nice and clean. Go ahead and erase that. And then yep, even over here, we'll get rid of that first slope that we drew in. Again, you're going to see I have to redraw some of this stuff. But that's okay. I can go back in there with my pencil and just lightly with a ruler, of course, draw those back in. Get that taken care of, and there you go. There are your stairs, two-point perspective stairs. Again, uh, you can draw these anywhere in the picture plane that you want. You can draw them facing you from this direction, facing you from the other direction. You can draw them above the horizon line. You can draw them like we did below the horizon line. You can have them facing away from you. As long as you understand the ideas behind two-point perspective, follow all of the rules of thumb, always draw your di uh, diagonal lines to your vanishing point, one or the other. There is only one horizon line. Everything else is a vertical or a diagonal draw lightly, you'll be set. Good drawing.